I'm Kevin Barnett. Welcome to Volleyball in Perspective 2010. Pleased to be joined by 2010 inductee Gabriela Perez del Solar. Her husband Johnny will translate. Welcome to the Volleyball Hall of Fame. Congratulations on your induction. We want to start with, you were an international force by the age of 17. How were you introduced to the sport of volleyball? Uh, tú eres una fuerza uh, muy joven y cuando tenías 17 años de edad, ¿cuál era tu introducción del de, eh, deporte de volei? Yo empecé este jugando realmente básquetbol por mi talla, pero me vieron el, el entrenador de volei me vio este y me llamó me llamó me llamó a la selección y ahí de casualidad empecé a jugar volei y me enamoré del volei. Um, she said, uh, as I was young and tall, I, I played on the basketball Peruvian team, and during an interchange of, uh, of teams, the volleyball coach saw me, asked me to come and play with the volleyball national team, and uh, though uncertain, started there and uh, began my career there. At what age? At uh, a los tres edad, años. At 13 years of age. Did you have any idea how far volleyball would carry you? Tenía una idea en qué qué lejos qué éxito se puede llevar el voleibol mm -hmm. en el momento. Cuando cuando empecé no sabía realmente jugar volei, pero sabía que que podía llegar muy lejos y el entrenador eh, me exigía mucho, eh, creía en mí, creía que podía llegar a ser una buena jugadora. Y cuando comencé a ver los resultados, sí pensé en llegar a ser una de las mejores jugadoras del mundo. When she first started, she knew that volleyball could give her opportunities going forward. However, she didn't have any degree of confidence in herself in that. But her coach pushed her very hard and did have a lot of faith and confidence in her. And from early successes, she began to see that uh, possibly she could be very successful and perhaps one day be one of the best in the world. What individuals, coaches, or players do you think really influenced your career? ¿Qué individuales, entrenadores, jugadores uh, eran más influencial en, en tu carrera? Eh, en Perú tenía el ejemplo de, de Lucha Fuentes, que es una ex jugadora. Y, y bueno, tengo el entrenador, mi entrenador, el señor Mambo Par, que fue mi padre realmente en el voleibol peruano. Y a nivel mundial, a mí me gustaba mucho Flo Hyman y Lamping. En um, voleibol, un uh, former player, uh, Lucha Fuentes, had a, had a large influence on her, as well as her coach, Mambo Park, uh, the coach of the national team, who. Um, who had a great influence on her as well. Also, in uh, in later um, career, uh, Flo Hyman and um, Lamping. Lamping had a, a large influence in what she was a great admirer of the way that their style of play. You played 16 years in Italy as a professional. You played many years in the national team for Peru. Are there moments or a particular story that sticks out? Durante los 16 años jugando en Italia y varios años jugando en el equipo nacional, hay, una, hay un momento, hay un cuento memorable que, que es este, um, memorable. Bueno, eh, personalmente, eh, perder la medalla de oro en las Olimpiadas eh, fue algo que, que marcó mi vida. Pero esas Olimpiadas, llegar a la final también fue tan difícil porque todos los partidos los jugamos 3-2, que fue uno de los momentos más importantes. Y cuando me retiré en la selección peruana en el año 93, que ganamos por última vez a Brasil y el sudamericano, esos dos momentos fueron los más, los más importantes. Y en Italia también he sido campeona de Europa y de Italia, pero más en la selección. ¿no? Um. During her career, two moments uh, stick out. Um, the first being um, actually losing in the finals uh, in, in Seoul in 1988. But the journey to get there, the, the three two matches of winning and the, and the difficulty to get there and the amount of training that took, all of that is, is one memory. 
The second is the year she retired, 1993. Uh, they won the uh, championships, um, and she retired after that game. Additionally, playing in Italy uh, during the 16 years, uh, winning the Italian Cup and winning the European Cup uh, are great memories, but for her, the most memorable of all are playing for the national team. Your husband is an American who was in Peru, and tell us about meeting him and your, your marriage. Tu esposo es americano y tiene cuenta que... Y mis hijas tienen también sangre americana. Para mí es... Nos conocimos en Perú porque él trabaja en Perú. Es una persona adorable y en pocos años hemos hecho una familia muy linda. Eh, con dos hijas mujeres que espero que algún día puedan seguramente hacer deporte pero de repente también jugar volei. Um, she said uh, her husband that would be me is a uh, uh, American who lives in Peru. He's very adorable. Thank you, honey. And uh, also in a short period of time we've uh, managed to create a, a lovely family of two daughters and uh, Actually, our, our, our focus obviously is in family, and perhaps in the future the two girls will, will play uh, volleyball, uh, certainly uh, will be active and athletic, but uh, who knows, maybe there'll be another generation of volleyball. And they have uh, American and Peruvian blood. Ooh, an opportunity to choose which team is better at the time. That's good. I noticed your parents are here with you at the Hall of Fame induction. If we ask them, where your athletic talent came from, who would claim it, mom or dad? Si uh, estaba notando que tus padres están con, con nosotros acá, y si pregunta a ellos individualmente, ¿quién va a decir desde dónde viene su talento atlético? Este, mis papás, los dos fueron deportistas. Mi mamá también jugó volei en una de las primeras selecciones del Perú. Mi papá es campeón, pero en remo y todos mis hermanos, toda mi familia es deportista y para mí eh, la influencia de mis padres fueron, fue muy importante porque también gracias a ellos, a, a la disciplina, a los valores que me dieron no solo en el deporte sino como persona pude llegar a ser también una buena atleta. Um, she said both of my parents were, are, are very athletic. Uh, my mother was in one of the first selections of volleyball, national selection team for volleyball. My father was national champion in rowing. All of my brothers are, are very uh, athletic uh, on the national basketball team uh, selection. Um, so it comes through both families. So I guess the short answer to that question was uh, they would both say it was from them. Um, but uh, it basically the discipline and the values that were instilled from their upbringing are what have given me my, my success today. You played 16 seasons in Italy and were offered an opportunity to play for the Italian national team. Tell us about the process and that decision not to compete for Italy. Nosotros en el Perú somos como unas heroínas nacionales y yo cuando me dijeron para jugar por la selección italiana nunca dudé en decir que no porque no hubiera tenido la cara o los ojos para mirar a a los peruanos que que nos quieren tanto y que somos tan famosas que no sería, no hubiera sido tan educado de parte mía jugar por otra selección. Aparte, eh, mi corazón es peruano y no italiano. Um, obviously, it was an honor to be asked, but I, I, I never doubted uh, for a moment um, to, to tell them no, um, because in Peru, our status as a, as a team and as a group is really uh, heroines for for Peru and, and, a, and, a, and a treasure for Peru and, and my uh, I wouldn't have I wouldn't be able to face my fellow countrymen to, to think of playing for another country uh, though an honor uh, I never doubted for a moment that uh, my heart is Peruvian and that's where that's who I would play for after your playing career you became a congresswoman tell us about that transition that decision to run for office and how your athletic career perhaps prepared you. Uh, después de jugando en tu carrera y jubilando, um, ya estás uh, en Congreso, un miembro del Congreso de la República Peruana. Uh, ¿Cómo han preparado eh, tu carrera y tu experiencia eh, como jugador para el Congreso? 
Es un cambio muy difícil. Eh, la política creo que es igual en todo el mundo. Eh, pero yo en mi parte eh, del Congreso me he eh, eh, dirigido más a lo que es la responsabilidad social o la parte de representación, no solo en la parte de hacer leyes, pero sí estoy en la Comisión de, de Deporte, de Educación, eh, de Comercio Exterior y Turismo, porque no solo soy congresista, sino antes de ser congresista fui empresa, soy empresaria hotelera. Entonces, eh, mi trabajo en el Congreso es más eh, representación y más la parte social, ¿no? de ayudar a la gente que más necesita cosas que necesitan. Um, it, it's been a, a difficult transition uh, from player to, to the political arena. I, I think politics are probably the same around the world and have their different uh, set of difficulties. The, uh, the focus of my, of my involvement uh, as a congresswoman is mainly in the social aspects to help uh, people in need and, and not so much in necessarily uh, in writing and authoring laws, but uh, more in, in making impacts on people and, and needs and, and facing responsibilities and promoting uh, Peru. Uh, I'm on the on Education Commission. I'm on the uh, Commission for Sports. I'm also on the Tourism and Commercial uh, um, Development Committee. Uh, to, to push that as I also have um, my own business there. I'm, I'm, I'm a hotel owner in Peru. How does sport, in particular volleyball, fit with developing well-rounded children? How do you think it fits with the development of kids in Peru and perhaps worldwide? Um, ¿Cómo ayuda el deporte en el desarrollo de, de niños, particularmente en Peru o en el mundo? ¿Cuál es el, el parte o el, el, el porción de desarrollo de, de un niño este, este deporte? Eh, yo creo que eh, a partir de cuando estás en el nido es necesario eh, el deporte, hacer deporte. No solo porque seguramente creces como una persona más sana, sino que también te forma con valores. Ya sea un deporte en equipo, un deporte individual, si quieres ser, si haces un deporte, tienes que tener una constancia, una disciplina, tienes que tener eh, valores importantes para poder llegar a, a, a ser parte de un equipo, de un deporte. Y es fundamental, yo creo que más, eso es una, también una cosa que el, los estados o, o, o los países deberían hacer más, invertir más en deporte para invertir menos en salud. Um. From the time you're in preschool, uh, obviously it's important to, to be physically active for your physical health, but um, sports, be them individual or, or especially team, help to develop the values um, and, and discipline in, in children that will serve them in later life. Um, it's it's, it's um, learn to sacrifice, learn to commit, and uh, she believes that uh, countries, states, uh, government should should invest more in, in, in sports and there would be less uh, problems with health and, and in, in, in education for the children. With all the success you had in your career and the many medals and awards and trophies, where do you keep it all? Con todo el éxito que tienes, donde se guarda todas tus copas, tus medallas, tus volúmenes de fotos y esto? Mi medalla olímpica está guardada en un cajón. Her, her Olympic medal is in a safe that she keeps guarded. Pero mis copas, mis trofeos personales, eh, el día que tenga, eh, cuando mis hijas estén más grandes, sí las voy a poner en una vitrina, pero siempre las he guardado dentro de, de, de mi recuerdo, de mi, de, mi, de, mi, de mi vida, de mi corazón, pero no las tengo... Eh, expuestas porque no me gusta demostrar lo que yo he ganado o lo que he tenido pero sí los tengo presentes todos los días de mi vida um, apart from her medal which is in the safe she uh, she holds the rest of um, her recognitions and cups mainly in, in her heart she says perhaps someday um, she'll make a, a, an area of display for all these mainly for our two daughters but uh, 
for now, really, the, these memories are, are more in her, in her heart and in her mind than they are in, in viewing them. I know I find my two sons running around with two or three of whatever the medals I have running around the house clanking them and smashing them. So it's a safe as a good place for the <laughs> Olympic medal. <laughs> no, pero está guardada porque para mí, no sé si lo la está en la traducción, mi medalla de, de plata es un buen recuerdo y un mal recuerdo. Entonces, de repente, cuando esté vieja, me voy a sentir orgullosa de la medalla de plata. Pero ahora, no, todavía no. She said, uh, just to clarify, you know, the... <laughs> The silver medal for her is the, the consolation prize. They were there to win the gold. So maybe later as she ages, uh, this competitive fire will, will add a bit and uh, she'll want to display that. But for now, uh, her focus was that they, they didn't complete the mission. That I totally understand. <laughs> Tell us about your reaction to being inducted into the Hall of Fame when you learned that you were in the 2010 class. Pensé que, pensé que era una broma porque fue mi cuñado en Italia que, que me dijo que había entrado la, al Salón de la Fama y yo creo que, que es una de, después de esto ya no puedo pedir más o sea, después de, de ingresar al Salón de la Fama como deportista, como ex deportista he llegado hoy al máximo y personalmente me siento feliz porque mi país, el Perú es nuevamente parte del Salón de la Fama después de Cecilia Taid, ¿no? Um, at, at first, my, my brother-in-law was the first one to notify me of the uh, election to the hall, and I thought he was pulling my leg. Um, I had to verify and, and, and investigate on my own, and obviously, you know, to my great surprise, I was, uh, I was elected. It's something I, I did not expect. Uh, it's obviously the, the pinnacle or the, the highest recognition someone can have. There's, there's not more to ask for from that, and she's proud on, on another level to say that uh, representing Peru, it's another um, another um, recognition of that team and, and the Peruvian uh, volleyball, because Cecilia Taid, uh, her teammate, is also elected into the hall, and uh, she's proud to be uh, next to her. Well, congratulations and welcome to the Hall of Fame. We appreciate you spending the time here on Volleyball in Perspective. Eh, muchas gracias y quiero también eh, agradecer a, a la organización que, que sé que esto son personas voluntarias y que aman el volei y, y nos, es, nos, han dado, nos están haciendo estos días realmente eh, de sueño porque qué más eh, para un atleta aparte de una olimpiada mundial es entrar al salón de la fama ¿no? uh, thank you so much and she just wants to recognize uh, all the uh help and, 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 and comforts that uh, the members of the Hall of Fame organization have made this, uh, this weekend such a dream and a dream come true uh, on this uh, greatest recognition that she could ever uh, hope to receive. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gracias. I'm Kevin Barnett. This is Volleyball in Perspective 2010.